Today I want to show you a little bit more about the Sys Internal Suite and how to change your system path. Uh, the Sys Internal Suite is available as always at sysinternals.com. That jumps you over to the TechNet website and it has a download link for all these cool tools and links to the individual descriptions. So when you download that, it's going to be a zipped file and uh, go ahead and unzip that as you like to put it in uh, the main C directory or in program files somewhere uh, besides the desktop because we're going to change the path to point to that so we want to uh, make it somewhere permanent so the first thing we need to do is change our path to make the, all these command line tools easier to use we need to open up our system properties you can get this through control panel right clicking on my computer there's a dozen different ways however you get there just get there and the steps are fairly similar for XP, Vista, and Windows 7. What you're going to do is look for the advanced settings menu. Uh, in XP it would be at a tab up at the top. In Vista and 7 it's over here on the side. It says advanced system settings. So we'll click that. If you get the USC just go ahead and click continue. And there's our advanced system settings. At the bottom button is environmental variables. So click that and down under system variables we're looking for the path so just look for one that just says path on the left hand side and click edit at the very end just go to the end put a semicolon a c colon slash or whatever your system drive is and then the directory that you have unzipped your system terminals files into or any other path name that you wish to add run c slash internals c slash sys internals and that's all there is to it. So let's go ahead and click OK. Click OK again. One more time. Minimize that. Now we're going to go to our command prompt. OK, now we need to open up a command prompt. You can do that from Start menu. Type in CMD and run that. Once we have our command prompt open, because we have added sys internals to the path, we can go straight to our tool, which is who is and as you can see it's just a standard uh, text-based who is and what's great about it is if you ever wanted to know who owns a website and you do a, a web-based who is search you generally have to go through multiple pages it takes a lot of time sometimes it's inaccurate and lots of times it's just really slow but with assist internals who is you can just type in who is space and then the name of your website and it goes straight to a Whois server and gives it to you right away you will have to scroll back up to see the contact information usually because there's so much uh, but that's a lot faster than you can get it off the web so I hope you've learned how to change your path and how uh, to use Whois from system internals